We've got lots of problems here at the Nationals. Turns out Jane likes Romeo in the damn bloody GTR as well. What do you like Romeo for? Oh, well, he's got the body and the car. I he's would have to say the car, yeah, he's definitely got both. You think, do you think if he had a, like a moped you'd be in? No. No, see, this car doesn't matter. It does matter, doesn't it? It does indeed. I mean, a lot of these chicks are saying it doesn't matter, but I think, realistically, it, it helps you. I mean, if you haven't got a lot to start with, if you haven't got a lot to start with, you're in. No, you're not. You're out. You need a car. You need a car. I have to say, you need a car. There you go. So, look, if you want Jane or any other chick, get a car. A hot one. A hot car. Towards the end of the day, it's only the faster cars. Let's check out some of the top six. Here's our main man, Simon, running in the 13s. What have you done in the car anyway? Um, just the usuals, yep. pistons, uh, slightly larger turbo, computer. Yep. Uh, most of the power is found in the tuning, so yep. that's where I've Obviously you've got it tuned up well, because the same thing, a lot of people complain, they oh, it's not tuned well, I guess what's the point of coming out of here you haven't worked on it, huh? That's right, the tuning just makes use of uh, all, yep. the, all the bolt arms, and uh, Mike Healy from Turbo Vehicles did a good job on, yep. on tuning it, so. You're obviously running really sweet today, that's good. Um, pretty good, yeah. Pretty yeah, happy yeah, with it. You think you can get lower? Yeah. 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 What's your sort of ultimate goal? Um, Obviously, it's four. <laughs> uh, um, low twelves, but if, if I break eleven, it'd be really, really good. But Even 11, yeah. see how we go. All right, we'll see come and chat you later. Good luck. Right. Thank you very much. Not too bad. Alright, so give, give me a rundown what you've done here. Obviously you've done lots. Um, basically, when I bought the car, everything was pretty much on it. Um, it had a Japanese computer in it, and I had to change that because it wasn't really making a lot of power. And um, once I'd done that, it was pretty much a different car to drive. But, um, yeah, it's they bought all the parts from Japan, they all come as a kit. It's yep. just all a bolt-on kit. Yep. Um, there's nothing being done internally in the engine. So G GP did this? Did this? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Running it. Yeah, so you dynoed it yet? Yeah, I um, dynoed it uh, at Turbo Vehicles and um, yeah, it was, it's not too bad. Yep. 563 horse. So. At the flywheel? Yeah. Oh wow. What's your best time today? 12.5. Uh, What's the best time period though? Um, last weekend I ran 11.3. Wow. So uh, hopefully you can get down today. It's a bit hotter today though, huh? Yeah. Uh, the car's not sort of going as good as it was last week, so... A bit out of tune? Yeah. Oh, well, you still, st I think you're still the quickest four-wheel drive today, though, are you? Uh, I think that Pulsar is slightly quicker. Oh, the other uh, little bevel one? Yeah. Oh, well, you got more, more runs to go? Yeah. Well, let's hope you take them down. Yeah, so do I. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> The purple Pulsar ran a flat 12. Arnie in the RX-7 ran low 12s, but just recently did a 10.9. Reese in the blue GTR ran 11.3, which is the fastest time of the day. Coming up in 2000, I expect lots of cars in the 11s, and most likely a few competitors in the 10s.
I'm sure some dodgy boy racer will pick up Jane. <laughs>